Media. Quick tips. So, you know your way around your video editor, and although your videos are pretty good, your thumbnails stink. They tend to be just the random screen grabs that YouTube makes when you upload the video. Now, you would like to get yourself some decent thumbnails, but you don't have Photoshop, and you wouldn't know how to use it if you did. Well, here's the good news. You don't need any of that stuff, because everything you need is already there in your video editor. Let me explain. Now, for this demo, I'll be using Sony Vegas Pro, but the same basic technique can be used with virtually any video editor. First, find out where your editor's screen grab is. This is it in Vegas Pro. One click here will save whatever's on the editor screen as a JPEG picture file. OK, let's make a thumbnail. Now, to do this, you're going to need a whole bunch of video tracks. So I'm going to open about six, and we can always add more if we need them. Next, we need a nice background. You can either take a screen grab from within your video using the aforementioned button, or search for a free background online. Now, as you probably know, I use the same background each time, so I'll just drag that in here. Now, I'd like to use a couple of extra images in my thumbnail, so I've done a search for transparent PNGs online. A cartoon thumbs up character, and a YouTube logo. I wanted transparent PNGs because, as you can see when I drag them in, the background is invisible. And I can size and move them to any position I want using keyframes, like this. I'll just park them here for now. Now to add some text. So right click and choose Insert Text Media. And I'll add my text. The standard text tools allow me to use all the usual text effects fonts, colours, etc. to get the text just how I want it. Now, I want to add another line. And so, to make the attributes exactly the same, I'm going to copy and paste to the new line, and just change the text. For the final line of text, I'm going to cut and paste again. But for variety, I'm going to change the colours and the fonts. Like this. And now I can bring back the images, and I can size and manipulate all the different elements until I get just the right effect. When that's all done, it's simply a click on the magic screen grab button to save a JPEG to your desktop in exactly the right ratio for thumbnail listing. So let's do that. A click on the button, and this is what you get. And that's your lot. If you've enjoyed this video, then please subscribe, like and share. This has been a Media Quick Tip, and I've been William Hugh.